hello guys this is shivam and you are watching analytics mantra and this is the very first tutorial of our new series of tutorials that is programming in r so in this very first tutorial we will see what is r and what it is used for and how to install r in your computer so we will be firstly seeing how to install the r studio in your windows machine and then we will run the very first r program so let's start so to install r in your system first of all you need to go to the browser and you need to go to our studio so now you need to open on the download our studio and there you can find your links that is you can you can go for the R Studio desktop because it is an open source and it is free so we will be going to download it and then it will take us to the link from which we can choose from since the windows machine we are using so we can download it for windows so let us click on the windows installer over here and you can see it is 81.9 MB since I have already installed R so I need not to install it again so after installing it you will see the R console like this so in R console there are four tabs the one is the source tab where you can write your code your scripts and the another one is the console where you can see the outcome or the output of your codes and the two are the other supplementary tabs these contains one contains the environment variables history variables and the another contain the packages that you have already installed and the floats files so this is the basic overview of our studio so now let's start first of all we will use R and we will see how we can use it so in the basic in introduction we can say that that R can be used for statistical analysis it is basically was developed for doing statistical tasks so we can perform any kind of mathematical operations using R so let us define some variables that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. Now to print any number we need to type the print command and then we will give the argument that is x plus y. Now we need to save it. To save you can click on the control s and then it will automatically save and then you need to run and then you will see that you need to first of all select all the variables and then click on run and then here you can see that we it the in, in the console you can see that uh, x plus y it is printed the sum so now you can also slide them down to the bottom and now we will perform some another operations like uh, we will print a string a string strings are always quoted with a single quoted or double quoted quoted so let us print hello world hello world now we have defined a string and now we would like to print the string my string that is here you can see now when you run this selection of code and you will see that it is printed in the console that hello world so so r can be used for mathematical tasks you can operate any kind of things on r so basically r was designed for the statistical analysis and in the coming lectures we will understand what are the basic data structure that we can use in r and we will also perform some data analysis tasks and we will also perform some data visualization tasks using R. So now this was the very first lecture of our series that is programming in R. So I hope you like this video and keep, keep on watching. Please subscribe.